Hey guys, Nick Stocker with Demonic Procedures here, and this new tutorial is going to be talking a little bit about building your level out just to make it look a little bit better. Um, you can see here is now I have two rooms with textures applied to them, and I have some more lights in here, and I have some lights up here. So I actually got this to work. The reason why this didn't work earlier in my last tutorial is because I forgot that I had moved the texture from the original place on my desktop to a new folder, and it couldn't find the texture, and it was like, where the hell is it? And that's why it wouldn't let me add it. So after fixing that and telling it where the new texture is, it's all good to go now. So I have my level here, and I've added some extra rooms. Well, let's add some more. I'm gonna not. Add, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Well, one thing is, I'm first. I'm gonna delete this. And what some people have had problems with when they're deleting geometry is, let's say I delete this, and now it's gone. And if I go back into unlit mode, it's still there. Well, I deleted the geometry, but I have to rebuild. And as soon as I rebuild, it will delete everything and we're good to go close and now it's not there so let's talk about building this out uh, I want to add another room over there like I had in that last little thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my builder brush and I'm gonna go to my properties by left clicking bring this up to 256 by 256 by 256 and build that out and I'm gonna put it right here right here you have to realize that these, uh, with the 16 drag grid units that we talked about earlier in the view in drag grid with the 16 units, each one of these larger boxes is 128 by 128. So two of these boxes is 256. So right now I have a 128 space between these two rooms. So let me go to my perspective. And you can see it's too high in the air, I think. Yep, or too low, sorry. Uh, I'm going to go to my front view, and we're just going to bring this room up. Now, Something that you should always do, I didn't really talk about before, is when you're in the content browser and before you even make a room, you should always have a material selected. Um, you should always have a material selected. Uh, it's just a good way of working. So I'm going to have my pebble color selected. And then when I subtract this, it should add it as the texture I want for my room. And the whole room should be this texture. It's just a good way to work. If I go to unlit mode, and it didn't because it's fail. I don't know why. It used to work in the UT3. Maybe it doesn't work in this version anymore. I haven't really tested that theory out. But I have another room, so that's good. Let's go to our top view, and now we need to make a hallway connecting these two rooms. So since I need a hallway, and I need a brush that's 128 by 128 to match up these rooms exactly. So I'm going to go to my builder brush, and in the, let's see, Y, I need it to be 128. So I'll bring that to 128 and build. Or oh, sorry, that was in the X. Let's leave that to 256. I need that to be 128 and a Y build that out and now you can see my builder brush fits exactly in between these two rooms so let's go to the front view and it's a little tall I don't want I want I don't want it to be like because if it's just that it's just like one big room so you need some kind of something to tell tell the user that he's going through a hallway so I'm gonna make that a little shorter and make it a 128 and bring it down to the bottom because if it was as tall it'd just be one big room it wouldn't look like a hallway and if I go into my top view you can see the same thing going on here it's now it's gonna look like they're walking through let me go into my perspective window here. If they were playing this map, it's going to look like they're going from one room to the next, and it's not really a hallway, it's just kind of like here's a low hanging ceiling, which doesn't make sense. So we're going to change the X value to 128 and build that out. And now I have this cool kind of hallway connecting these two rooms. So let's subtract that and close that out and go into unlit mode. So now I have my two rooms, and you can add textures to this. It's uh, as you want, but now you know how to add this up. Um, as I was saying before, with these static meshes, the light static meshes, they don't actually emit light, so what I had to do was put a light bulb near the object that's supposed to be emitting light, and that's going to be what's emitting the light, so let me delete this, and I'm going to show you how I added that light in. I went to my content browser, and I kind of figured, what kind of light would this be? Well, I thought it'd be kind of like a spotlight style, so I went to my Actors Classes right here. If I go to my Content Browser, the next tab over is called Actors Classes. And if I look through all these different types of actors, I can find one that says Light with a plus sign next to it. I'll drop that down, and I see Spotlight. So I select the Spotlight, make sure it's highlighted, and I'll right-click in my room and go to Add Spotlight Here. Not Add Actor, Add Spotlight Here. So I'm going to add my Spotlight in, and I'm going to bring it up. And I'm going to look... I'm just going to kind of eyeball this, actually. I think I should do a little something better. I'm just going to go straight to the top and try to make sure I'm getting this looking like it's right. Okay, now let's go back into perspective. So you can see I have my light in there, 
But you see this huge cone? That's the radius of the light, and that's just really, really big for what I want to do. So I'm going to, with the light bulb selected, I'm going to hit F4, and that will bring up the light properties. Now with the light properties, there's a bunch of stuff you can mess in here with, but we're just going to mess with some simple things here. First thing I'm going to go down to is if you go into, you'll see, you'll get this. You want to open up light, then you want to go to light component, and that will open up all this good stuff. The first thing you want to go down to is light color. I'm going to try to match the light color. It's not white light coming out of this thing at the top here. It's kind of like a blue, has a kind of a bluish haze to it. So I'm going to make it a bluish color. So I'm going to open up the light color just by clicking on this bar here, the white bar, and I'm going to change the color to maybe something bluer. I'm going to go really blue just so you guys can really kind of see the huge difference here when I'm done with this. So a really dark blue, I would, if I was you, I'd go something a little lighter than that. And now I need to change the radius of this cone because, I mean, this thing is just super big, super, super big. Um, so we're going to bring this down just by dragging in right here, just by dragging this little radius bar. Just click anywhere in here and you can drag it out. I want it to encompass the entire room, so I'm going to drag it to about maybe a little smaller than that, maybe to about there. And we'll, bring, we'll change the cone angle as well. Let's see here. Just kind of making this cone angle a little smaller. We might make the radius just a little bit bigger. There we go. So it's actually hitting the floor now. So I like that. And if you're not seeing this kind of stuff here, you know, you got light mass, light shafts, you can just go to point light components and spotlight components and just kind of change that around. So now I kind of like what I have. So let's rebuild and see what we have over here. Ow. I just hit my foot. Close that out. Close that out. And we'll run this. Now you're not really seeing a lot of blue. That's not good. It's a no bueno. And I think that's because I have these other lights in here kind of washing this blue out. So let's take these lights and we'll delete them. And let's try to rebuild that and see what that looks like. Go to my lit mode. So now, yeah, you can definitely see the blue in here. And the lights kind of flooding over from the other side but you can still really see this blue over here on the walls if I go into play you can really see the blue coming out of this light coming shining down into the room and whatnot so that's how you and basically I mean this is how you're gonna make your map you're going to just add rooms and add textures and add boxes and uh, static meshes such as that light there let's see if I have a little bit of time here I do alright something I want to mention when you're building a level you it's a really bad, I mean, unless you're just screwing around, it's a really bad idea to start subtracting boxes and just subtracting stuff. The best thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go over to Photoshop or GIMP or MS Paint or whatever you have, and you're just going to want to start a new document and just kind of start drawing this level out. What, are you, what is this level going to look like? Um, you know, where, where are you going with this? And it's just a good idea to do, to do, to have some kind of map in your head. Uh, for what you're gonna do because just to sit there and and build out nothing I mean it's, it doesn't make sense <laughs> you have to you know take this and just start adding and cutting pieces and putting them together and just kinda get a flow for how your maps gonna go so I have one room here and I'll put another one over there and this is how they're gonna connect and I'm gonna have a, a weapons pick up here and I'm gonna have health over here and player starts are here you gotta really plan this stuff out I mean just going in here and adding stuff is not you're not gonna get a good map you're going to have a playable map. I mean, this is a playable map. I could add another player start right over here, add actor, add player start, and I can rebuild this. Let's see. It's going to take a minute to rebuild. Close, close, play. I can come in here. I can hit tab and hit type in add bots underscore. Or I don't have to put underscore. I can just put one. And now I have another bot in the room, and he wants to kill me. He's a stupid bot, but he's a bot. So, there you go. You have a map, and I mean, but it's not a very good one. So plan out your levels, know what you're going to do. Don't just go in here and start cutting stuff out. 
Uh, make your own textures. Take time with your textures. Textures are a huge part of games. I mean, you're not allowed to use a lot of polys. The engines are, are very good these days, even with the next gen. They still can't handle a lot of polys for details. So textures are very, very important uh, to what you're trying to do. Just make sure you plan, and you. I promise you'll come out with a great map. So uh, this is Nick Stalker with Demonic Procedures. Thanks for watching. Uh, just remember, the demon's inside.